fall into a deep, peaceful sleep with four hours of storytelling for grown-ups. You're listening to Cottage Escapes, a collection of six calm bedtime stories that capture the cozy, charming allure of cottages and cabins in nature. Revel in the splendor of different seasons and settings, from snow-dusted mountaintops and woodlands to waterfalls and lakes to a cabin in the snow. Enjoy these rustic, timeless escapes as you fall asleep nestled in a charming cottage. Cottage core embraces beautiful harmony found in nature, the old timey traditions of artisans, simplicity, and the cozy and dreamy aesthetics of life in the countryside. So get cozy as we prepare. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, think of me as your ally for peace and serenity. Let my voice remind you of the unlimited potential you have to self-soothe and find bliss on the wings of your imagination. Take flight in this sacred time before crossing over the bridge to your dreamscape. You have made it through another day in a world that can oftentimes be stressful and harsh. But come bedtime, in the haven of your room and mind, every moment offers softness and comfort. Any thoughts or feelings to disrupt your sanctuary may be cast off into the night, into a vast starry sky, so you may be free to travel from one picturesque cottage to the next. Customize your listening experience by skipping ahead to the stories if you prefer, or by engaging in a brief guided meditation to relax your breath and prepare your mind. At any point, you may let go of my voice and fall asleep. You know your needs, and I urge you to honor them. Snuggle into your pillows and bed, Adjust your blankets. Wiggle and burrow until you are as comfortable as you can get. Acknowledge the support your bed and pillows offer you as your body becomes heavy and you sink into their softness. Your eyelids are like shutters on a cottage. Closed for the night, so you may shut out the noise and happenings of the outside world. In your inner sanctuary, your guard comes down. The state of vulnerability opens you to recognizing all that is happening in your body so you may find release and surrender. Take this time to let out a sigh. Blow the air through your lips as if to blow away any holding or stress in your body. When ready, take a healing inhalation that fills your abdomen to its utmost capacity. With each breath, you may find yourself able to expand more. Take it easy and open your mouth and yawn and then sigh. 
make a sound if you like. Relish the sweetness of letting go and continue at your own pace in this rhythm of breathing. As you inhale, yawn, and sigh in three, two, one. Every inhale sends a message of peace and surrender to yourselves, letting them know they may stand down or even take the night off. Every yawn enhances your sleepiness and state of peace. Each sigh brings a wave of relaxation. Enjoy one more round as your muscles relax. Your joints find space. Your heart becomes warm and open. Your mind is clear. As you inhale, yawn, and sigh. If at any point throughout this journey or throughout the night, you find yourself awake and wishing to return to stillness and serenity, you may use this pattern of breathing. Notice how much better you feel than moments ago. A single breath can be like the wind that changes the direction of your mental sails. So allow yourself to sail towards respite and in the state of openness, it's time for the stories to begin. The Waterfall Cottage. Someone once said, a strong person and a waterfall always carve their own path. There was once an architect who never quite considered herself an architect in the professional sense. She was mainly self-taught, although she had always been creative and inventive. She wasn't drawn to labels or achievements. She was drawn to the feelings one could experience when cast in the right light, nestled in a cozy alcove, overlooking serene landscapes. To her, life was about connection and healing not prizes and accolades. Her motto was, if one must disrupt nature and create something that will last, then that something must be more pleasing than the original state. And while beauty can be subjective, feeling safe and blissful was a universal experience that led her to every decision and creation. In the middle of the 20th century, at a time when female architects were few, she slipped away into the woods on a solo retreat. On this sojourn, she discovered the perfect place in nature, within a wooded area surrounded by rolling hills and mountains. She followed a babbling stream walking barefoot on the lushest green moss and the silkiest grass she had ever encountered. The stream led her to a waterfall, cascading down metallic ebony rocks in a misty band. Golden sunlight filtered through maple trees, and hundreds of tiny rainbows formed. She stood in the clearing where her waterfall cottage would be built as a voice inside her rose to say, This is home. And so you find yourself 
many decades later on a getaway to the waterfall cottage. A series of fortunate events led you to this mystical retreat in the heart of the woods. You rise early on a temperate morning and enjoy your favorite morning beverage on the second deck of the forest home. Designed like blocks stacked atop one another and three stories high, the waterfall cottage has a dozen decks and Juliet balconies, as well as a rooftop garden with fresh berries, squashes, tomatoes, herbs, and sunflowers. The quirky design would fit perfectly in Alice in Wonderland. Floor-to-ceiling windows face the waterfall and woods, so tranquilizing views may be enjoyed from common areas and bedroom suites. You revel in the purity of the cottage, with its clean lines and design. Wood-paneled alcoves offer nooks for reading and enjoying tea or coffee on rainy and snowy afternoons. But days like these, on the cusp of autumn, make you long to be outside in nature. A soft morning breeze carries the waterfall mist to the deck and kisses your skin with a tingling sensation. Sunlight filters through white birch trees that cast shade on the deck. Bamboo chairs surround a circular glass top table tinted with an aquamarine shade that blends with the harmonious blues and greens of the stream and flora. Part of you wishes you could stay in this moment forever. It is full of purity. The air is cool and clean, with aromatic layers of cedar, blue spruce, sweet fertile earth, and fresh water. Music of your choice plays from outdoor speakers softly buried beneath the sounds of the forest. The songs of birds announce to one another. They are still here for yet another glorious morning. The rushing water sounds like susurrating distant thunder with aquatic whispers that you like to pretend Hold the secrets of the forest. You are dressed for the day in soft clothes, comfortable for lounging on a day without an agenda. You rise out of the chair and do some stretches in a shower of sunlight, releasing any tightness in your body left over from a night of deep sleep. You are more relaxed than you have felt in a very long time, and your body adapts by taking on the flexibility of a sapling. You look down onto the stream and watch as a frog hops across slick, silvery blue stones. A lavender white fog lethargically moves across the forest floor, gauzy and dreamlike, fading through the morning hours. You open the sliding glass doors that lead into the lofty open air dining room and living area. The walls are made of reclaimed wood and fallen trees salvaged by the architect. Each wood board could tell a story about its journey to the cottage 
that gave it new life. The wood planks vary in shades of coppery brown and chestnut, shiny and lacquered with grains that swirl whimsically through the wood in darker shades. The home is accented with rugs, paintings, and blankets in brilliant shades of blues and greens with pops of red orange and magenta. In the center of the living room, a white wood stove is suspended from the ceiling. The exposed porcelain chimney reaches towards the high ceilings like the white birch trees reach for the sky on the other side of the windows. Skylights reveal the highest branches of the birch trees and the top of the waterfall. Many details inside the cottage mirror the beauty outside in nature. Small nooks and alcoves are similar to tree hollows where squirrels and raccoons seek respite. You gather a picnic backpack from the kitchen, pre-packed with your favorite snacks and drink, to set out for a walk in the woods. You glide down the floating wooden stairs that cascade through the three levels of the home like waterfalls. They offer clean lines and open spaces where light pours through. You exit the front door to a wavy pathway comprised of stones once gathered from the stream bank. From above, it looks as though the water turns to stone as it leads to the house. You walk to the stream and follow it towards the waterfall. The babbling water looks like liquefied nickel that winds around the property. The sound of thundering falling water causes the earth to gently vibrate as you carefully walk through the shallow stream and find your balance. The cold water travels through the openings of your athletic sandals that grip the stones and help you balance. The current massages the soles of your feet, and pulsing water slips between your toes, as if preparing them for the walk ahead. You climb onto a mossy patch of earth that leads to naturally formed stairs that wind around the waterfall. You ascend slowly and are conscious of all that is happening in this moment. The path leads you behind the waterfall where you stand and observe it from a new vantage point. You reach out an open palm into the rushing water and feel a moment of surprise by the chill in temperature. The mist lands on your face like morning dew, and you feel alive, curious, and content. You tune into the sound of your breath and the rustling of trees. You take note of the waterfall mist and fog on your exposed skin. You continue to ascend up the stairs as small twigs and decaying leaves crunch beneath your feet as they land on the pillowy, damp earth. Rust-colored pine needles 
Stick to the sides of the rubber soles of your sandals. You find balance with ease as you ascend higher and higher up. The waterfall remains in your peripheral vision and the waterfall cottage stands behind you like a reverie as whimsical as a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. It will wait for your return at sunset. You reach the rock summit atop the waterfall that is layered in vibrant green moss, plush as a carpet beneath your feet. Clusters of puff mushrooms and golden chanterelles with petal-like caps scatter the earth. You stand above the waterfall and look down into the stream. Mist rises towards the clear blue sky. As you stand and feel the prismatic spray rise, you imagine this to be the transitional space where these droplets journey towards the sky to condense into clouds. How often have you found yourself in the in-between? So many transitions occur naturally throughout the day, from one breath to the next. From morning to afternoon, from your waking life to your sleeping life, they come with grace and are often unacknowledged. But atop the waterfall, you look out at the woods and rolling hills in the distance. Purple, slate-gray mountains surround the landscape as protective barriers offering an escape from the modern world. As you take in a deep breath and sigh, this moment feels timeless. Disconnected from your daily tasks and labels of society, you feel free in the woods. You wonder if this is how the architect felt when her pencil drafted the first plans for the waterfall cottage. Sometimes the most beautiful creations come out of deep longing and sadness. These moments are the unexpected stepping stones to richer and better experiences. They are the impetus for change, growth, and renewal. The sun rises above the tree line and you bask in its warmth as you resume your walk through the woods. Two chipmunks playfully run across the path, toppling over pine cones that roll towards your feet in their wake. You pick one up to run your fingers across its ridges and inhale the fragrance before tossing it back on the earth. You see a monarch butterfly hovering above the slender stamens of tiger lilies. At times the orange and black pattern on the wings blends into the orange petals. For some reason you are drawn to the butterfly and decide to follow it through the woods. You watch its wings flutter as it changes elevation sometimes flying high overhead 
while other times dipping down towards the land covered in pine needles, moss, and feathery grass. The sunlight intensifies as the monarch leads you to a clearing, where you discover the perfect knoll to have a picnic on. The velvety grass rises above your ankles, dappled with wildflowers in shades of violet, lavender blue, yellow, ivory, and bright pink. You remove your sandals to feel the plush flora beneath your feet. Waxy blades of grass thread between your toes and cushion each step as you walk to the top of the small hill. You remove a flannel blue and white plaid blanket from your backpack and unfold it. The fabric billows in the breeze and falls onto the earth like a parachute during a perfect landing. You place the backpack on the edge of the blanket and sit in the center. The monarch continues to circle you, occasionally landing on wildflowers that surround the edge of the blanket. You enjoy the treats packed for this picnic. The fragrant notes and tastes on your palate are enhanced by the awe-inspiring majesty of the clearing. You may consume these items again. And when you do, each smell and taste will reignite the sense of peace you feel in this moment. Even if all moments to come will never be exactly the same. Satiated, you lie back on the blanket and look at the sky. White, puffy clouds roll by, offering shade and a reprieve from the sun's heat when the rays become too much. The sun reveals itself when you long for its warmth, and the delicate dance of the clouds continues throughout the afternoon to offer the most pleasant feeling. It feels good to be in your skin, comforted by the soft flannel of the picnic blanket as the breeze brushes against you like a soothing hand. With your fingers clasped behind your head like a basket, you watch the clouds and make out the formations. Your eyes blear, and the clouds begin to look like a parade of animals across the powdery blue sky. You make out an elephant and giraffe and other animals that amuse you. It feels good to be playful and embrace the dreaminess of the afternoon. Hours pass and you lose track of time as the sun dips toward the horizon. The air becomes cooler as you pack up and prepare to return home. It's hard to believe, but the same monarch flies near one last time as if to say goodbye before it flutters in the opposite direction. Do you wish it well, knowing soon it will take a long journey to migrate south for the winter? You return to the forest as the cicadas become quiet 
and crickets sing out their sunset tunes. Fiery, saturated, marmalade sunlight pours around the tree trunks like clover honey. The return to the waterfall cottage feels shorter. Now the path is more familiar. A tiny brown bunny hops along the path and pauses for a moment to make eye contact before disappearing into the woods. A loveliness of ladybugs climbs around the smooth trunk of a maple tree. The deep green leaves will transition into a flaming red in a month or two, but now retain the verdant hue of summer. You arrive at the cottage in time for sunset. With a refreshing drink in hand, you climb to the roof and rest on a chase lounge at the edge of the garden. Sage, mint, and basil aromatize the air that sparkles in the last of the sunlight. The waterfall reflects the pinks and oranges of the sunset skies, with hundreds of tiny rainbows dancing in the mist. The richest and warmest hues of the day appear in the honeyed light. You inhale deeply and feel your chest expand with gratitude for the stay as the sun disappears. The sky retains vibrant bands of aubergine, violet, magenta, and sherbet orange as wispy cotton candy clouds drift overhead. Tree frogs sing along with the gentle hush of the falling water and gurgling stream. As twilight sets in, the night air becomes brisk. An owl perched in the center of a cedar tree hoots, and the sound reverberates across the water. You descend to the living room as the stars come out to play. A nearly full moon rises over the waterfall, casting the landscape in silvery light. Through the skylights, barely visible moonbows appear in the mist, so faint they could be imagined. You ignite the kindling in the belly of the wood stove and inhale the sweet, musky aroma of melting pine sap and charred wood. The small pieces catch, and you add a log from the ivory log rack. The hisses, pops, and crackles evoke memories of campfire gatherings and winter scenes from beloved stories you once heard. The flames reflect on the glass doors and create a mirage, appearing as though they are dancing inside the waterfall on the other side of the windows. You allow yourself to be swept up by this visual of fire and water coexisting in harmony. The flames flicker and dance as the water rushes toward the earth. The moon rises above the skylight and you bathe in its silvery glow as the fire casts you in golden light. You are captivated by the luminescence 
of silver and gold. You settle on a custom-made sofa and prop turquoise and mint green satin throw pillows behind your head. You lose yourself in the persistent whispers of the waterfall and staccato pops and crackles of burning wood. You feel as if you are in a safe capsule in the middle of the woods. You watch as a white-tailed deer and her white-spotted fawn approach the stream just beyond the cascading water. Their bubblegum pink tongues lap up the flowing water with delicate flicks and reflect the moonlight. Your presence goes unnoticed, and so nature gathers around the waterfall cottage, feeling as safe as you do. Your mind drifts towards the woman who built this home to save herself, and over many decades, offered an escape for many souls to visit and restore themselves. Your body feels heavy and tired, and your mind drifts towards slumber. You nearly fall asleep a few times on the comfortable sofa before you realize it is best to go to bed. This delightful home, surrounded by water and trees, moonlight and rainbows, offers the ideal sanctuary for good dreams to come. Climb the floating stairs, ascending one by one to a heavenly bedroom suite. You prepare yourself in the adjoining bathroom and enjoy a brief shower with a rainfall shower head that cascades warm waters over your scalp, your face and shoulders that cascades warm water over your scalp, face, and shoulders. You wash with a botanical soap with fragrant notes that remind you of your forest walk. The creamy lather moisturizes your skin, washing away dirt and salt. The cobalt blue marble tiles of the shower glisten in the moonlight that pours through the skylights. As you cleanse yourself of the day, you look at the indigo blue sky and glittering stars to make out the Big Dipper. You close your eyes and imagine being beneath the waterfall taking in the enchantment of nightfall. You inhale deeply, and your chest falls in a sigh. Every muscle and tendon in your body feels loose and easy. You turn off the shower and step onto a soft, quilted bath mat and bury your face in a downy towel. You inhale the clean aroma of the linen and dry the rest of your body. The last moments before slumber are met with a methodical routine crafted over a lifetime, allowing you to feel safe intended to. The minty toothpaste, the soft pajamas, 
the peeling back of the quilt and sheets and the sinking of your head into the pillows. These things have happened hundreds of times before, but feel unique with the newness of the waterfall cottage. You simply feel good as you sink into the bed, surrounded by four wooden posts that reach towards the cathedral ceiling and sky. As your heavy eyelids fall on your tired eyes, you imagine the bed flying through the night sky, ducking beneath the waterfall, and then flying over the woods, traveling far away to an uplifting dreamscape. You open yourself to the possibility of enchanting dreams, ushering you through the night as you drift deeper and deeper down, surrendering to the majesty and peace found in the waterfall cottage. Floating with the ease of a maple leaf drifting downstream. Embracing the softness of this moment as you let go. The night taps into the wonders of the sanctuary of your mind. And you may let go of my voice and surrender to sleep or enjoy another cottage tale. The Swiss Cottage In a land of neutrality, it is easy to find peace, even more so when the climate is favorable, as it is on the perfect late spring day that you find yourself in the Jura Mountains of Switzerland. The geologic folds of the rock formations form bands of fossils that serve as a map of time that spreads along the French and Swiss border. The limestone cliffs and dense evergreen forests stimulate your imagination with their storybook allure. Tall, silky, emerald blades of grass rustle in the soft breeze. Magenta florets of milk thistle and bell flowers in shades of indigo, soft pink, and an array of purples flutter like butterfly wings as the gentle winds travel over the hills and valley like a wave. Many people dream of spending summer months above the tree lines, in the lush mountain pastures or alpage just beneath the clouds. Travelers from all walks of life come to Switzerland to tend to cows and to learn how to make cheese in mountain huts. You find yourself one of the lucky ones to enjoy this annual journey. The trek to higher elevations is as much a trek through time as it is through space. The centuries-old tradition conjures the spirit of all those who have come before you in tune with the bucolic splendor of the valleys and peaks, the fauna and the rustic charm of chalets and huts that dapple the landscape, the hairpin turns of the mountain paths demand all who climb to stay in alignment with the present moment. There is nothing but the now. Sparkling white gold sunshine beams brightly and reflects off the snow-capped mountains. 
The low-toned melodies of cowbells chime throughout the hike. The most beloved of cows often wear the largest, grandest bells. When they settle in their summer landscape, the bells are hung from the eaves of wooden huts to be worn again during the annual procession to the valley at the end of summer. Vibrant floral wreaths dangle around the cow's necks. Their heads are adorned in floral crowns, and their caretakers are dressed in traditional Swiss attire. The women wear long skirts with dirndls, close-fitting bodices, atop flouncy blouses. The men wear trousers and vests, with alpine caps that angle down from the crowns of their heads like mountain slopes. Their clothes are as vibrant and colorful as the fields and sky. In shades of blue, red, green, and gold. Their hats and vests are adorned with embroidery with silver and gold threads that glisten in the sun like angel hair. These time-honored parades create bookends for the summer season. And when everyone returns to the valley, the villagers will know the clock will soon strike autumn. But now the promise of summer and new life is found in every drop of morning dew. This promise shines in every silvery blue stream and waterfall that recently thawed into liquid hope. You trail behind the procession, close enough to feel the energy of joy and resilience from the cows and herders and travelers from afar, but distanced enough to take moments for yourself. Your beloved dog is at your side and relishes being free from a leash, yet shadows closely behind you. Your bond is strong, and you often look at your pet and wonder if they are enjoying the mountainside as much as you. Their panting smile, curious sniffs, and wagging tail are indicators that they are. You are dressed in a way that suits your mood for this journey. Whatever way that may be. And you carry a rucksack full of essentials. Your feet step on the dirt trail and loose stones. And you feel connected to the mountains. Grounded and strong. Even as you feel close enough to touch the heavenly blue sky. The air offers a delicate balance of warmth and coolness. The sun feels like a toasty heated blanket on your body. But just before it becomes too warm, a spring breeze offers a reprieve. You savor the liberation felt from being far and away from technology and any residue of the modern world. The volume of simple pleasures amplifies without the hum and noise of the modern era. Flowers have never looked more vibrant and awe-inspiring before. For once you have the time and desire Pay attention to the most subtle details. The mountains offer a sense of endurance and permanence 
that makes you feel safe as you ascend. You experience deep belonging, connected to the land, to something so much bigger than you. The enormity of the beauty, the endless vista of greens and blues, makes all your concerns seem small. A wave of gratitude constantly pours over you from head to toe, and your skin tingles in the mountain air. You are sensitive to every sound, smell, and visual. The mountain air kisses your skin and grazes the back of your neck like soft fingers. The hooves of the cows land on the earth as they march upwards and create a persistent reverberation on the path beneath your feet. Yet the path, the mountain, remains strong as if to say, I've got this. I can carry your weight. The trail winds around a sharp bend, and you see a tall, narrow waterfall that trickles into a small, sparkling metallic pool beyond the path. Your pup looks to you for permission, and you smile and wave them to go enjoy the crisp, snow-fed water. They run ahead, and you follow behind. Blades of grass and a lush blanket of wildflowers brush against your legs in a gentle massage. Your pup waits on a rocky edge beneath the waterfall and looks at you with loving eyes, imploring you to catch up. You walk on the rocks and join your pup, patting them lovingly on the back as the soft spray of the cascading water lands on your face. You lead your dog behind the waterfall and reach your hands through the rushing water. It is cold in a pleasant way that makes you feel renewed and alive. You splash the cool water on your face and take a sip. Your pup dares to follow, cautiously extending their tongue to lick a thin stream of sparkling water. The water tastes like a clean spoon. The fresh minerality carries a hint of sweetness. Like each breath, each sip of the water imparts the flavors of Switzerland. It is no wonder why the cows are marched atop these fragrant hills to enjoy the splendor of nature. The fields they graze will pass flavors into their milk, used to create alpine cheeses. These big, semi-firm cheese wheels, full of gold paste and luscious crystals that mark their age, will travel the world to share a taste of the beauty before you. You sit on the rocky edge of the pool with your pup and soak in the sun. The sound of the rushing water is a song and takes your mind to dreamy places. You lie back and look at the sky as puffy iridescent white clouds 
float across the bluest sky you may have ever witnessed. Your chest feels light. And even while the air is thinner at a higher elevation, the weight of the modern world is gone and you feel lighter. This journey reminds you of the unlimited beauty in this world available for exploration. And wherever you go, it becomes a piece in the mosaic of your life. You imagine what the mosaic piece of the Swiss Alps would look like and feel all the places in your body that resonate with peace and bliss when you see it in your mind's eye. All the beauty around you also resonates within you. As the afternoon wanes on, you are ready to resume the trek up the mountain. The procession of cows continues as they slowly and carefully climb. Step by step, you feel more and more like yourself like the conscious childlike version of you. You are curious and mystified by the little things that often go unnoticed. You feel your strong heartbeat and feel gratitude for every pump of life that gives you the fortitude to climb this path. You thank your lungs. You honor your legs. And you are grateful for all the millions of things that it takes for you to be in this moment, part of this march towards the peak. Time passes, but like in a dream, Your calm mind flows through perceptions and decisions with grace. When to stop and stretch. When to slow your pace and pause at summits to take in the beauty of rolling hills. The valley villages are in the distance dappled with brown cottages that look like tiny cuckoo clocks in a fairy tale setting. It's not hard to imagine the village centuries ago, thriving in the summer months and quiet and sleepy come winter. As the sun lowers towards the mountain peaks, You come upon the first huts used for milking cows and making cheese in the months to come. As the animals feast on flowers and fresh grass during the brief season, their rich milk will be cooked down in copper cauldrons with a kiss of wood smoke and caramelized milk sugars to make large wheels of cheese. The caretakers tend to their animals and settle into their cottages while you help a few group members form a campfire atop a grassy knoll. Your dog stays by your side and you feel the warm invitation of these new friends with their kind smiles and joyous energy. You're invited to sit on a hand-carved stool 
often used for milking the cows and crafted by a farmer generations ago. The sun showers the landscape with honeyed light that flows over the valley and a luminous glacial lake with gradients of turquoise, green, and sapphire blue. The saturated hues are as vibrant as the earliest technicolor films, and the vivid beauty feels like a waking dream. You inhale the smells of the burning logs and the fresh hint of evergreen from the thick forests that pepper the region. Your hosts speak in French. Their dialect is unique to the region and as crisp as the air. Occasionally, they address you in English and share their love of the land with stories about the long, hard days of farming and cheese making, followed by nights that bring the soundest sleep, the natural rhythm of summer in the mountains fosters a healthy circadian rhythm that you can feel. At sunset, the sky becomes a melting pot of swirling peach, cotton candy pink, and lavender swirls. The moment the sun dips behind the silhouette of mountain peaks, everyone takes a collective sigh, carried by feelings of gratitude and a call for rest. You enjoy Swiss delicacies offered to you by the group of shepherds, cheesemakers, farmers, and visitors. Some of these visitors are doctors, lawyers, and students who have traveled in search of peace and with a longing to experience the simpler world that their ancestors thrived in. You feed your dog fireside and crumble some gruyere atop their food. You pour water into a portable dog bowl taken from your rucksack. In the golden glow of the flames, you feel a wave of euphoria in this opportunity to provide this memorable experience for yourself and your dear furry companion. A whisper rises in the silence of your peaceful mind. This is more than enough. And it is. It surprises you to find these feelings, the sense of community and security, surpasses all the lists and expectations of what you thought would be enough to meet your needs. Those to-do lists and ideas become irrelevant. Your needs are met. This night among kind souls gathered by a fire in the pure landscape of Switzerland is enough. It's not just enough. It's everything. The sky turns a silky shade of blue, and the stars begin to twinkle, their luster increasing as the fire softens into glowing embers. 
a silvery mist slithers through the mountain, and the cool, tiny droplets land on your skin in a gauzy veil. One by one, your new friends disappear to their chalets and rustic huts. Walter, the leader of this venture, is a fifth generation cheesemaker and farmer. He points to a cottage over a small knoll and indicates that is where you will stay. You thank him and tiredness comes over you as quickly as the darkness came over the mountain. You linger for a few minutes to enjoy the magenta glow of the embers as you look to the sky and make a wish. You imagine ways to conjure this feeling again in your daily life. You think of all the dreamers who sat in this spot before you and pondered the wonders of the universe. You feel humbled and grateful for every step that brought you here. The journey was worth every single one. Your dog nuzzles their warm head against your leg and you look into their eyes illuminated in warm light from the dwindling fire. You feel your love for them and their love for you as you rise from the stool and walk towards your dark brown cottage. The mist hovers over the damp grass and your pup races ahead intuitively towards your cozy home for the night. You take in a deep breath and the smell of spruce becomes stronger in the damp air of the night. Each inhalation is like a soporific tonic that makes you feel more and more tired. Away from it all, you are free of stress and concerns and your body relishes this moment to unwind. You imagine sleeping long into the morning, uninterrupted, in the glorious Shura Mountains. You move slowly as if floating through a glacial turquoise lake. Your muscles become more and more tired from a day spent hiking. The feeling is nice, full of accomplishment, and it brings a lightness in your chest. You walk towards the chocolate brown cottage with a roof as whimsical as those depicted in cuckoo clocks. As you ascend the creaky steps into the cottage, you hear an owl's hoot echo through the plateau. The sound is a beckoning for sleep as nocturnal animals roam the night and humans and their pets settle for sleep. The smooth logs of the cottage glisten in the moonlight, shiny like gingerbread made with extra molasses. You open the door into the cottage and find it decorated with vases of vibrant wildflowers that aromatize the simple, open room. 
there is a bed tucked away in the corner of the cottage, a simple kitchenette, and a dining table and chairs. The air is the perfect temperature for sleep and carries the slightest sweet smell of wood from the historic beams. The bathroom is modest, and you wash your face with the cool water fed by a well in the tiny porcelain sink. You return to the bed to discover your dog is already asleep at the end of it. They've made themselves home in the Swiss cottage. You change into warm pajamas taken from your rucksack and peel back the heavy quilt and crisp white cotton sheets. The bed is firm yet comfortable and your spine aligns perfectly as you settle. Your head sinks into the soft pillows. It feels as if you have been here before, perhaps in a dream, or perhaps through fairy tales told over and over again to you as a child absorbed deep in your subconscious mind. The familiarity brings you peace and comfort and ushers in sleep with ease. Your pet sighs, a soothing sound that causes you to sigh. Their furry body keeps your feet warm Come morning, you will awaken to a brilliant new day, full of possibilities. You fantasize about falling into the rhythm of the Swiss countryside, in tune with the sun and moon. You welcome balance, comfort, and bliss, finding beauty in simple pleasures such as the fresh mountain air, the promise of the new season, a sense of belonging, the deep peace that comes from nature, the security that comes from having a community and experiencing the magnanimous beauty of this mountain retreat. The cozy cottage is like a safety blanket, a sanctuary for deep healing sleep. The soft glow of the moon pours through white crocheted curtains that delicately dance on the night breeze. You inhale the fresh air through your nose, feeling it warm before it travels down your throat. You savor this experience of inhaling cool air while your body is toasty beneath the freshly laundered bedding. And you allow yourself to drift, to float, to journey towards dreams that await. You imagine the shutters of the cottage opening as your mind drifts through the windows float across the bridge to the mystical dreams that await you in your sleep. And you may let go of my voice 
and surrender to sleep. Or enjoy another cottage tale. The Shore Cottage As individuals and as a society, we've always known that things could be better. Perhaps fear of change or failure our doubts that we could ever break the patterns of history or intercept things beyond our sense of control seem to hinder the unlimited possibilities for an ideal world. Yet all we desired and all we deserved was never as far away as it seemed. It just took a bit for us to collectively imagine better and become better and encourage those around us to be better as well. The shore is a place where all those silent prayers, wistful yearnings, sometimes desperate pleas, collective change and hopeful whispers over generations have become a reality. And you travel through time and space to experience it. Some years, the heat and humidity of July arrives to the shore weeks before the school year ends, at a time before the beaches become a lively patchwork of beach towels, sand castles, and striped umbrellas in a kaleidoscope of colors. Your feet land on the cool, damp sand and leave impressions that the frothy incoming waves wash away in their wake. On this dreamy night, the energy at the shore feels simultaneously familiar and different. You wrap a nylon dog leash around your palm as your pup races ahead of you down the wet sand for many yards before circling back. Your dog is as excited as a child on their birthday, eager to discover the untouched sand before you. They swiftly return with a panting smile and muzzle covered in an icing of sand, beckoning you to explore with a playful bark. It warms your heart knowing your bond is so strong that your dog will always return to you. Just the same as your pet is full of trust that you will always be there. You both may relish this final week of off-leash moments permitted on the beach before the summer crowds arrive. The tide is high, and the beach is at its narrowest for the day. You walk close to the boardwalk as the chilly salt water cascades over your feet before it retreats into the seemingly endless glittering ocean. It is a blessing to be an early arriver in the shoulder season. The neon lights of the amusement park come back to life and reflect on the rippling Atlantic like an oil painting. All kinks are worked through as the beach town teems with anticipation for the most beloved peak season. The rhythm of the seasons is comforting with its predictability. The smells of kettle corn, cheese fries, and cotton candy compete with the briny aroma of the salt water air. Their fragrant notes hang heavily in the unseasonably hot humidity. But these are not merely the smells of popular concessions. 
They are the olfactory keys that unlock memories of first kisses, promises made under the boardwalk, and dreams cast on stars on perfect summer nights that make one believe anything is possible. The air is so thick that it feels like walking through a warm cloud and the contrast with the cool, wet sand amplifies your awareness. The ocean would feel almost too cold without the humid air to soften it. Your dog charges ahead to greet a couple holding hands and walking towards you. Well into their late 80s, the pair dresses similarly in nautical striped shirts and navy slacks. Their silvery white hair shines like the crescent moon and their tanned wrinkled skin reveals stories of summers spent soaking up the sun. Their eyes tell another story offering a glint of deep appreciation and reverence for this time in history. They endured the trials and tribulations of the past to gratefully live out their last chapter in a world that has evolved into a kind, nurturing place for everyone and every generation. The couple wishes you and your pup a good night, and their voices convey empathy and compassion. You realize you are more perceptive to nuances than you ever have been before. There are uplifting revelations in the smallest of gestures and subtlest of tones. These small glimpses empower you to recognize so much more has been going on in your waking life than you realized. Rather than overthinking or being stuck in a state of judgment, you rely on all your senses. You appreciate your sensitivities in this new world where they are celebrated and enrich the experience of being alive. You call to your dog and attach the leash to their harness. You ascend the sand-dusted wooden stairs to the boardwalk. The weathered planks creak beneath your bare soles you come to the top to find your sneakers in a row of shoes left from other beach walkers. Every time you come upon this eccentric trail of shoes that have supported many souls on adventures, you smile with the inherent trust that it is always safe to leave your shoes with a certainty they will be there when you return. The safety is yet another benefit of life at the shore. Edison light bulbs dangle around the pavilion, and their gold filaments twinkle with reminders of carnivals from long ago. Soft serve ice cream piles atop waffle cones in twisted towers, coated with a blanket of rainbow sprinkles held in the hands of children and adults. Each candy sprinkle is a joyous representation of the wishes that come true and warm feelings that arise on this enchanting night. The ice cream melts fast and creates creamy rainbow streams, so colorful they seem fantastical 
and cartoonish. And those who enjoy these runny treats are in a race against the heat, laughing as they try to beat the clock and savor the frozen treat before it melts completely. It reminds you of the happy moments we collect in this life and aim to hold on to before they slip away. Beneath a red and white striped umbrella is a candy stand with an array of apples coated in caramel, nuts, chocolate, and glossy red hard candy. A college student named Cassidy operates the concession, having just finished another semester to return to the shore for the season. She could not wait to reopen the family business, first operated by her great-grandfather, who came from the old world. While in the process of seeking an advanced education, and a professional career. Somehow Cassidy knows memories of this summer job will pop up through time as one of her most beloved professions. When she asks what you would like, you go for the classic one and select a red candy apple. She hands it to you with waxed paper wrapped around the stick and you offer a generous tip in her paper cup, hoping that good fortune finds her wherever she goes in this life. Beneath a string of colorful silk lanterns in shades of raspberry, purple, teal, and gold, you admire the red luster of the apple you see your reflection and the shiny candy takes on the magic of a crystal ball. It reveals good things to come and causes you to smile. Children run down the boardwalk with their arcade winnings and amusement park tickets trailing behind them like paper tails on the ocean breeze. The children are loved, protected, and free to roam the beach and amusement park with wonder. Their contagious glee awakens the inner child in everyone on this night. A benefit of the off-season is that dogs are invited to ride the ferris wheel with their humans. Your furry companion knows what is in store and leads you towards a small line that forms behind a silver metal gate. A little boy stands in front of you and hugs a Yorkie puppy against his chest. When he looks at you with eyes as wide as saucers, he proudly introduces you to his puppy, Luce which he explains means light. You tell him Luce is the perfect name because dogs shine light into the world no matter how dark it may become. The young boy nods and his posture becomes erect as if doing his best to impersonate Superman. His young eyes pour into yours as he declares I know that, and you know what? Maybe we just need to remind everybody else. You smile conspiratorially and nod. The line moves forward, and other dogs waiting to ride exchange loving glances with their humans. One by one, groups enter the enclosed gondolas that are aglow like antique Tiffany lamps. The mosaic of jewel-toned patterns vary on each gondola 
and become hypnotic when the Ferris wheel is in motion. You hand over a few dollars to the attendant and they lead you towards the gondola and open the door. Your pup jumps in and you follow. Safely tucked inside the cozy space. Gradually you ascend. With your pet seated on the gold speckled royal blue cushioned bench. The gondola rocks gently back and forth. The stars sparkle in the velvety purple black sky and the crescent moon is centered directly above the ferris wheel. You continue to rise higher and feel a rush of joy as the gondola cuts through the thick air. Away from the warm planks of the boardwalk, the air feels cooler and the breeze is pure delight. A bonfire glows on the beach. So far below it flickers like a small candle of hope placed on a canvas of sand, defiant against the darkness of night. As you reach the top, you feel the cold front moving in. The still, hot and humid air is replaced with cool layers that flow over you like waves of relief. It feels so magical to experience both hot and cool air and different parts of your body. The Ferris wheel pauses and you bite into the crunchy candy and juicy red delicious apple to savor the sensations and taste. While conquering this treat can be challenging for a child's mouth, it is easier for an adult, as many things are. And yet some things have become harder with age like keeping the space for imagination and dreams. You think of this as the hard candy melts on your tongue and colors it scarlet. Your heart swells as the Ferris wheel accelerates to its maximum speed, going round and round and round. The sensation takes you out of your mind and into your body. Goosebumps rise on your skin from the rush of being in motion and the cooler temperatures. You start laughing and only realize this when you hear the melody of your own voice. Your pup is just as happy and leans their furry body against your arm. You pat their head and continue to enjoy the magic of the ride. A popular rock song from decades past plays beneath the whooshing sound of the ferris wheel and the delighted squeals of children. How you wish to hang unto this moment, even though its brevity makes it all the more special. You enjoy one more rotation as the Ferris wheel winds down its speed. You look to the south to see the row of Victorian houses where your cottage stands. The soft pastel hues of the facades are faint in the glow of street lamps 
and the historic homes appear as tiny as dollhouses. The gondola descends so slowly that you feel like a seagull gliding down from the clouds towards the beach. The ferris wheel gracefully propels forward and you arrive at the bottom where the journey began. The attendant greets you and slows the rocking vessel with her hands before opening the door. Your pup jumps out first. They are your adventurous leader for this night among many and you follow behind. You walk to a bench where you sit and finish the last of your candy apple. You look to the stars and think to yourself, of all the made up things in this world, you are in the center of some of the most pleasing and sublime and you pause to take it all in, imbued with appreciation. Your pup gets antsy, and with their insistence, you rise to begin the walk to your cottage. You descend the boardwalk stairs to the sand, and discover the beach has widened as low tide is at its peak. Your dog leads you towards the bonfire where a dozen or so people gather. The gold and marmalade flames rise out of a stack of diagonally placed logs and are more than double your height. The fire is the perfect foil to the cool night air that gives a hint of rain on the way. You are close enough to feel the warmth of the flames. Shadows and amber light dance on the reflective wet sand. A young woman plays a familiar song on a ukulele and the group sings along. Some voices are loud and out of key and others are so beautiful, they belong in a Broadway production. But collectively, they create an original chorus of joy. You cannot help but sing along, and the group waves for you to join them. Kids dance around the fire. Their moves are spontaneous and bold. Your dog happily lets out a bark. Ocean waves pound against the shore to add a thunderous bass and persistent hush. The beauty of this evening is that you are so busy enjoying your human body and the sensuality of the night that not once is there a self-conscious thought to hold you back. You are truly free. The song ends and the group spontaneously erupts in laughter and applause. The ukulele player and one of the whirling little girls hold hands and take a bow. The bonfire is their spotlight. You thank everyone and wish them a good night as you continue your walk towards the pier. During your stays at the shore cottage, you begin each morning and end each night with a walk to the farthest point on the pier. 
this ritual creates bookends on the best stories and moments of each day. And if you were to tell a story from today, the theme would be that there is kindness and beauty everywhere, most found in the simplest of exchanges and pleasures, that at the core everyone wishes for peace and joy, and they manage to manifest it at the shore. Your dog takes on a slower gait, their enthusiasm to lead now replaced with a desire to stay close by your side. A few night fishermen sit on upturned buckets and exchange stories about the sea. You pick out a word or two, soothed more by the raspy sounds of their charismatic banter than the messages contained. You keep walking until you come to the soul lantern at the end of the pier. You stand beneath the golden light and look out onto the ocean. You imagine how brave one must have been to board a vessel and travel the ocean across the world in hopes of discovering a better place to thrive. A flash of lightning illuminates the deep waters miles out from the pier. The storm moves just beyond the coastline with no intention of moving inland. But it creates a majestic show of lights that reflect on the water and highlight the smoky purple underbellies of storm clouds. The sky directly overhead remains clear, brimming with stars and the sliver of a moon. Your dog yawns, and this yawn is as infectious as their glee. You open your mouth and yawn next, taking in a breath of the cool, salty air. Your dog begins to tug at the leash in the direction home. You walk back towards the beach in a dreamy state, lulled into a sweet trance by the sound of the crashing waves. You head south towards the row of historic houses that overlook the ocean, painted in hues of cornflower blue, periwinkle, buttercream, cotton candy pink, lavender and mint green. The Victorian houses remind you of the color palette of ice creams sold by the nearby parlor. The soft colors and ornate designs of gable roofs and widow walks bring a sense of whimsy. So much care went into designing the details and crafting beautiful homes because these dwellings were meant to be cherished. Some of the sprawling homes rise three stories high with wide wraparound porches with swinging benches and rocking chairs. But in the heart of the row is the most beloved Victorian cottage where you reside. It is the oldest and coziest of the shore homes, spoken of often 
by those who visit the shore in summer. The cottage is the most colorful of the homes, with intricate details around the roof and porch, painted in rose, lavender, teal, and aquamarine. The hand-carved balustrades resemble the crests of waves. Your cottage is both nautical and whimsical, like a colorful gingerbread house brought to life. You let your pup free to run up the two-toned steps that lead to the porch. Your furry friend sits at the top of the stairs and patiently waits for you. You take a mental picture of this moment to file away into the compartments of your mind dedicated to appreciation and peace. You ascend the steps becoming more and more tired as you go. Once on the landing, you turn around to watch lightning strike far out into the ocean. The distant storm reminds you of the beauty and power of Mother Nature. Even the storms at sea that never make it to land heighten your gratefulness for the safe haven of the cottage. You wipe your shoes on a straw welcome mat before entering your cozy home. You open the century-old pastel-hued door and enter the storybook dwelling. A crystal blue glass lamp illuminates the main room in a soothing color reminiscent of the Atlantic. You ascend the white wooden stairs that lead to your bedroom. The cottage interior is painted and accented with dozens of shades of blues and greens set to match a collection of sea glass in a mason jar and images on the wall that capture the Atlantic Ocean over time. Your dog follows you to the bedroom and tiredly walks to their plush dog bed beneath a bay window overlooking the sea. The windows are open and moonlight pours onto your pup as they burrow and settle and then curl up in a ball. You step into the adjoining bathroom and take a quick shower to rinse away the salt and sand. Fresh eucalyptus hangs in a bow around the shower head and fills the air with a calming perfume. Your skin feels clean as the water cascades down. Your muscles are relaxed. You wash yourself with handmade soap from a small gift store in town. You rinse away the suds and then turn off the water. You dry yourself off with a freshly laundered towel and bury your face into the soft, plush fabric. You then brush your teeth. You change into lightweight, well-worn pajamas and then brush your teeth. 
And once you are prepared for bed, you return to your room. The cool night air travels through the open windows and brings a gradual shift in temperature in the room. Pockets of humidity and warmth from the afternoon remain, and so you welcome the persistent breeze. Chiffon curtains dance on the air and billow into the room, cast in opal moonlight. You peel back the covers and climb into the antique ivory wrought iron bed. You sigh in unison with the soft, familiar creaks of the bed as you settle beneath cotton sheets and a handmade quilt that has the heaviness of a weighted blanket. Snug tired and relaxed, you begin to drift towards sleep, and as you approach the bridge to your sleeping life, you are inspired by the kindness, the beauty, and the wonder of the shore. You are comforted by all the interactions you had with the community. You look forward to the days to come, knowing they bring a lifelong treasure hunt for collecting sparkling moments and memories. The sound of the ocean waves carries you across the bridge between your waking and sleeping life. This delicate moment is sacred as you surrender to a night of respite and peace. Letting go that you may welcome the sleep that waits for you or you may journey to the mountains in the next story. Rocky Mountain Cabin Shakespeare wrote, Our peace shall stand as firm as rocky mountains. There is a cabin where you go for equanimity and a slow down time when the world becomes too much. Nestled within a forest in the Rocky Mountains, images of this rustic escape come to mind and tranquilize racing thoughts and concerns. So long as you have a place to go to unwind, you can handle all the world throws your way. The Rocky Mountains or the Rockies, is the largest mountain range in the United States. They rise so high above sea level that the air becomes thin and intoxicating. As you acclimate to the elevation, your heart pounds a little harder. You take more conscious breaths with an awareness of your body. Gratitude pours over you like the white hot afternoon sun with an appreciation for all that your body does to adapt and function. Your loyal dog walks alongside you, panting in a smile and revealing their gleaming white canines and watermelon pink tongue. Your heart swells, knowing that you are giving your devoted furry friend an experience that they deserve. 
an experience that all animals deserve. The sky is a piercing shade of blue, so bright and close that you feel lost in a reverie. Luminous white wispy clouds slither across the sky slowly as if they too wish to hover above the looming Rockies and stay for a spell. You take in a deep breath and the marriage of flint, fresh water, evergreen, and sweet earth aromas create a soothing olfactory elixir. And while the weather can be harsh atop the white-capped mountains in winter, and scorching in the valleys in summer, the perfection of this day makes such challenges seem impossible. There is no room for strife on this afternoon walk. You dress in shorts and hiking boots, with a flannel shirt in your favorite color tied around your waist. It hugs around you and makes you feel secure. It's always important to layer this time of year when the mornings are brisk and the afternoons are hot. Your feet crunch on a path of steel gray stones crushed like the ice of a slushy. Each shape is different and shimmers in the sun. You stretch your arms overhead and smile spontaneously. You don't know why, nor do you need to know why, but the feeling makes your skin tingle. Your arms are covered with goosebumps of pleasure as the sun cloaks you in a radiant shower of light and warmth. You come upon a trail that weaves through a forested area and your pup races ahead. The light filters through the lush branches of lodgepole pine trees a gentle breeze rustles the needles. The light brown trunks are straight as a pin and barren from the roots to the upper third of the tree. The lodgepole pine is the perfect name for an evergreen that looks like a Christmas tree on a stilt. The lightweight wood was once used to make teepees you run your fingers across the small bumps of the coarse bark and imagine the trunks forming a teepee around you. Perhaps it is the thin air or maybe it is the magic of the Rockies. But for some reason, every sensual experience creates layers of visuals and ideas about the land and all those who came before you. The hush of the breeze joins the babbling sounds of a nearby spring. A finch calls out overhead as it swoops down from the branches and lands on the earth. You look into its beady eyes and feel its resilience as you connect with its life force. Your dog is distracted by the aromatic soil as they press their wet black nose across the dirt and it becomes a magnet for pine needles. You call for them and they come running you bend down to dust the pine needles and pitch from their muzzle. 
You then rise and follow the aquatic sounds, venturing slightly off the trail. You come to a clearing to discover a cold spring nestled within red tinted boulders. Vibrant wildflowers in shades of crimson, lavender, strawberry pink, periwinkle and fiery orange scatter around the perimeter of the metallic blue-green water. You slowly walk through the wildflowers, savoring their softness as they brush against your bare legs. You close your eyes to feel the breeze caress your face. This is the place you are meant to come to for peace, for restoration. All the noise of the modern world is mute, and all the performative acts of your daily life are forgotten because this is life. This is why you came to this world to connect, to feel good, to be in tune with nature and all the glorious sensations to be felt on a day like this. You walk towards a boulder and sit down. You pat on the grainy rock made hot by the sun and indicate for your dog to join you. You untie the braided laces of your hiking boots and they slip between your fingers. This day heightens a childlike awareness and draws out your desire to curiously explore textures. The boulder is solid and unyielding beneath you. You dip your toes into the gently flowing water. The temperature surprises you, like stepping on a small puddle of melted ice on kitchen linoleum. As you adjust to the temperature, you allow your feet to sink deeper until the water rises to your ankles. The softly flowing water soothes your tired feet, numbing your muscles and offering a lovely contrast to the heat of the boulder and late day sun. Your pup looks over the edge as a school of tiny silver fish darts across the spring. Obedient and loyal, your pet waits for permission to jump into the water. You tease your sweet animal for a moment by inquiring if they want to go swim. With perked ears and a wagging tail, you extend your arm towards the spring as an invitation for them to go for it. The scene plays out slowly in suspended animation and your mind captures a mental picture of your dog mid-air. Their mouth opens in glee, and the feathery clouds and gradient of soothing blues of the sky create a magical backdrop. The joyous splash in the water spreads droplets that seem to fall at a quarter of the speed they normally would. Sunlight hits them to form rainbows in the tiny orbs that land on your legs. They feel cool and refreshing. You reach for a smooth stick, 
weathered by time and perfect for playing fetch. You throw it towards the heart of the spring and your dog swims through the metallic water to claim it. Their taut muscles flex and their fur coat shines. You feel awestruck by the diversity of beauty in nature. You focus on small details that you often overlook. The reflections on the water, the purity of the air, all the work your body seamlessly does so you can be in this divine moment alive and thriving. In every moment of life, so many things are going right for you to simply be. Your dog runs along the bank with a stick and climbs atop the warm rock, leaving dripping paw prints in their wake. You throw the stick back into the spring and they jump in and splash you as they fervently doggy paddle to fetch it. You lose count of how many rounds you go. But with each throw and return, and for your pup each catch and release, the afternoon deliciously wanes on. Your dog begins to slow down and lies atop the rock like a lizard sunning. They rest their head on their front paws and close their eyes. You catch your reflection on the water as clouds dreamily move across the spring in a mystical overlay. Looking down, you see the most content version of yourself and your beloved companion in an oasis of enduring stone and vibrant flowers. And if you could, you would capture this moment in an oil painting to hang upon your bedroom wall to remember how it felt to be high atop the Rocky Mountains, full of life and bliss. You begin to stretch, ready to return to the trail. Your pup rises and instinctively shakes, even though their fur is now dry. Your socks are warm from the sun, and as you put them on, the soft fabric brings a second start to the day. Soon you are back on the trail that weaves parallel to the mountain road, where a small village of cottages is spread out. Most who come to this mountain town are artists and bohemians who live simply and derive creative inspiration from this special place. You follow a trail of pine cones and pick one up to smell the minty sweet aroma. A woman in ethereal, vibrant floral fabrics gathers pine cones in a basket up ahead. Silver hair flows down her back over a flouncy blouse that reveals her tan shoulders. The pattern on her skirt could have been painted by Monet and helps her blend into the greenery of the forest like a modern-day nymph. 
Your dog runs ahead, eager to greet her. She responds with a hearty laugh that cuts through the sounds of the woods. Her energy is radiant like the sun, pouring over you with warmth and hope. You hurry ahead to introduce yourself and your pup. The lines around her eyes crinkle as she tells you her name is Mora. Her irises are a striking shade of violet with sapphire specks. She seems familiar to you, or perhaps her tone and demeanor remind you of a beloved grade school teacher our maternal influence. She asks if you would like to join her on the walk to her cottage, expressing how nice it is to make a new friend. You agree and soon learn her cottage is on the way to your cabin. You have passed by the aquamarine painted fence many times before and felt curious about who lives there. In summer, her yard becomes a fairy garden, abundant with flowers, vegetables, berries, and stone sculptures that depict feminine beauty and goddesses. As you approach her cottage, she asks if you would join her for some tea in the garden. Your dog stays close on Mora's heels, and you realize that your furry companion has decided for you. The door of the gate swings open and creates a sound like the high notes of a piccolo before it claps behind you. You walk among pink mountain heather and bluebells that sway gently on the breeze like the long fabric of Mora's skirt. She introduces you to her work, statues that depict goddesses of hope, good health, and love. Mora leads you around the back of the colorfully painted cottage with a lilac-hued porch, cobalt blue shutters, and a daffodil yellow front door. A pergola drips in sweet-smelling wisteria. Small twinkling fairy lights wrap around the wooden beams and sparkle. A white wicker table and chairs with fuchsia and teal cushions are below the pergola. Mora sets her basket of pine cones on the table and tells you to make yourself comfortable. The sun becomes more saturated in golden tones as it lowers towards the silhouette of snow-capped mountains in the distance. Your pup settles on the tiles beneath the pergola. Mora soon returns with a boldly hand-painted tray that holds a pitcher of iced tea, glasses, and a ceramic bowl of fresh water for your dog. You help her place the water on the ground, and your dog begins to drink. She pours the tea into the glasses. It smells sweet, herbaceous, and exotic. It is the ideal temperature, and the silky beverage slips down your throat when you drink and offers relief from the dry mountain air. Glass prisms in the shapes of stars diamonds and roses 
dangle from branches and sparkle around you with tiny rainbows. You remark on how much her home is like being inside a rainbow. She says, I really appreciate you saying that. I came to Colorado to live a colorful life. You know, some people operate as a classic box of crayons. You get eight colors and have to work from there. But I have always strived to live the life of a 120 count box. Bring me all the shades, emotions, and vibrance this life has to offer. Being able to express each one is truly a gift. You look around and take in the rich greens, the blue sky, and feelings wash over you in waves, far more than could ever be contained in a box of eight colors. You feel gratitude and then longing. You feel happiness, followed by a touch of sadness when you realize this moment will pass. You feel childlike and inspired, while also safe and at peace. You revel in the complexity of all the feelings that come like waves of color. Mora reveals she has lived an unlikely path for a woman in her 80s and from her generation. She chose long ago to be a single woman in nature and remain child free so all her nurturing energy could be used to mother a world in need of mothering. I know you did not come here for advice, and I'm not one to push it on anyone. Everyone has their own path to forge and dreams to realize. But my greatest hope in this life is that one day the world will be full of souls brave enough and inspired to the point they listen to what their lives deserve, and not the voices of others. When you come close to the end, you look back and realize only you are left to reconcile with the path behind you. So make sure to choose the path you want. You lean back into the fuchsia and teal cushions that remind you of a lotus flower and lily pad floating on a pond. The two of you dreamily look at the sky as Aura, a white short hair cat, walks on a flagstone path to greet your dog. Amber light pours over the steely mountains and their magnanimous presence connects you with your inner fortitude. Mora's garden heals you your mind drifts to the dreams and desires you have for your life. You pause and ask, but what if there are times you don't know what you want or where you want to go? Mora smiles thoughtfully. Mora jumps onto her lap and curls up into a ball. She does every day. Gravitate towards what brings you joy and be curious. If you listen, all the answers will be there. And don't just rely on your mind. You think your mind keeps you, but your body does. Sometimes people are so afraid of pain that they avoid feeling anything. But whether it's pain or pleasure, it's an indicator of the direction you should take. You know, the greatest growth and discovery occur during uncomfortable times. 
Look at these mountains that took thousands of years to form. They didn't question the journey. They withstood the test of time. Mora reaches into an embroidered satchel that hangs around her neck and withdraws a piece of clear quartz. The glassy edges sprout out of a milky white base, as jagged as the peaks of the Rockies. The piece reminds you of a glacier that has broken off and floats towards new adventures. It feels cool and solid when she places it in the heart of your palm. This rock crystal is an amplifier. Whatever you put into it will come back to you in greater ways than you can imagine. Let it remind you to pour into things that will pour back into you. You are the most important person in your life. The sky begins to darken as the sun disappears behind the western mountain peaks. You rise knowing it's best to walk the remaining half mile home before it gets too dark. You thank Mora for her kindness and hospitality. She says, don't be a stranger. Come visit whenever you like. You place the quartz in your pocket and leave. You close the aquamarine gate behind you with a sense you will one day return. You walk beneath the twilight sky and the silhouette of pine trees that form a canopy overhead. It is still light enough to find your way back to the cabin as the moon rises and illuminates the path. Your dog stays close to your side and you see the soft orange glow of your porch light in the distance. The outline of the cabin glows in the spotlight from a nearly full moon. You inhale the cool night air and untie the flannel shirt around your waist and put it over your t-shirt. Crickets and owls sing their nocturnal songs. A coyote calls from a nearby cliff and the howl echoes through the valley. You walk on a stone path to your rustic cabin and climb the copper-brown wooden steps to the porch. Your pup follows behind you as you take a seat on a porch swing to stargaze. With your help, your dog jumps up to join you Together, you softly rock back and forth and look at the sky. The snow-capped mountains glow in pearly light. As you look closer, you see the many shades of purples, blues, grays, browns, and greens that color the night. You think about Mora and her desire to live in a vibrant world where you feel all the colors and diverse array of emotions available to you. Right now you feel peace, bliss, fulfillment, tired, dreamy, Hopeful, at ease, blessed, and joyous. Motivated by the chill of the night, 
you look at the Milky Way one last time before entering the cozy, warm confines of your cabin. Inside smells like cedar and cinnamon candles. The exposed wooden beams are wrapped in colorful lights as they have always been. But given the journey of the day, you pay special attention to the hypnotic hues. This cabin fits you like a well-worn leather baseball mitt handed down through generations. It is comforting and warm. Built-in shelves showcase photos of you throughout life. Smiling, pouting, celebrating, and expressing a huge range of human emotions throughout your childhood and adulthood. The candid shots make you aware that you are living life with a full box of crayons. Your pup nudges you towards the bedroom, eager and ready to cuddle for the night. You walk down the hall to the bathroom and enjoy a quick shower as the forest air blows through an open window. You inhale the mountain air that cuts through the steam that fills the room. You lather cedar soap on your skin and wash away the dirt from the trail as you do your muscles relax. They are tired and carry the memories of the wonderful adventures throughout the day. You step out of the shower onto a plush bath mat that is soft beneath your heavy feet. You dry off and change into pajamas and pick up your clothes from the floor. Lace doilies and curtains decorate the rooms of the cabin passed down from the original owners of the rustic home. They remind you of a simpler time. The windows open out onto the night and a cross breeze welcomes you to the bedroom. You dig into a pocket of your shorts to grab the clear quartz from Mora. Your dog is already asleep at the end of the bed as you pull back the quilt and sheets. You hold the cool, jagged crystal in your hand and look at it in the gauzy red glow of light from an antique hurricane lamp on the bedstand. This crystal makes you feel special and empowered to imagine the path you wish to take and to be conscious of what you pour your energy into. You set it on the nightstand and turn off the light. You sink into the pillows and close your eyes as you begin to drift between your waking and sleeping life. You inhale deeply and smell the freshly laundered sheets and cedar soap on your skin. You exhale and let go. Your muscles melt, your joints release and your body prepares to surrender to the night. A day of unexpected turns 
brought you back to the familiar place where you may fall asleep or you may calmly continue on to the next bedtime story for grown-ups. The Healing Candle Shop Imagine your ceiling is a blank white canvas. You watch as colored pencils move like magical wands to create an autumn leaf drawn in vibrant hues of tangerine and yellow topaz. From your bed, you trace your finger on the air around the perimeter of the points and leaf. As your finger moves, gold dust appears, left in the wake of each motion. The leaf comes to life and floats across the room towards your window. It takes flight on a night breeze, and you follow it with your mind's eye to another place and time. The orange-yellow leaf lands on a glassy pond in the heart of a New England village. Red maple, sweet gum, and oak trees create a canopy over the lake and reflect on the golden water like floral bouquets of fall. The leaves are vibrant red, deep shades of purple, and copper brown. Amber light pours over the picturesque setting like a honey glaze. Tiny twigs snap and dry leaves crunch beneath your comfortable shoes. They lend the percussive bass line to the orchestra of sound that surrounds you. The soft wind and rustling leaves are like jazz brush strokes on a snare drum. A man dressed in red flannel paddles a canoe in the center of the pond. The boat creates tiny lapping waves, bringing dulcet tones. You close your eyes and feel the crisp air on your face. You enjoy the contrast of the cool breeze with the warmth of the sun. Autumn brings a transition between the intensity of the heat of summer and the dark, cold winter to come. It prepares you deeply, readying you to hunker down and find safety. On this perfect fall day, you enjoy everything about the contrasting colors and sensations you imagine embracing the transitions in life with as much grace as you embrace the lure of transitioning from summery garments into soft scarves and knit sweaters. You walk by a young puppy that dives into a pile of leaves. A young girl laughs in splendor. She throws two handfuls of leaves into the air and they fall around her in an array of jewel tones. The colors and happiness of this scene are rich and more enlivening than a gift of the finest jewelry piece. Scenes like this reveal opulence in nature. Her parents look on from a park bench, sipping hot cider from to-go cups. The sweet cinnamon-spiced apple fragrance travels on a cloud of hot steam and mingles with the smell of decaying leaves and wet earth. You walk on the leaves and consider all the cliches and habits of fall. You realize they exist for a reason. Pumpkins, apples, and fallen leaves have the power to elicit joy from the most cynical mind because they appeal to much deeper senses. They are a message of what is to come. They are nature's permission slips to get as cozy and relaxed as you possibly can. And in the modern world, this permission is greatly appreciated. 
The puppy comes running towards you with her bushy tail wagging like the propeller of a helicopter. You reach down to greet the young pup and run your hands through her downy fur. Your fingers weave through her cotton ball fluff and you remove a crisp, papery maple leaf from her tail. Again, you note these contrasting sensations as you rise with the papery leaf in your hand and feel it crumble into dust. It is a reminder that everything is temporary and changes in time. There is no need or even capability to tether or hold on to things. You may find deep serenity with surrender, floating through each moment with the grace of a falling leaf, letting go of a tree branch. The pup runs off and you wish the family a wonderful night. These brief interactions with unknown souls create a gentle stir inside of you. You feel the warm tingling sensation of making new connections with people as you pass through this moment, which is unlike any other moment before. You walk on a mosaic carpet of wet leaves, artfully pieced together by the windy wand of Mother Nature. You pay attention to the unique layout of vibrant pink, orange gold, amethyst, garnet, and sunshine yellow leaves. The path leads you to a cobblestone street that still glistens from an early morning rain shower and leads you into the heart of Sugar Hollow. Sugar Hollow has been on the maps for nearly a century as a quaint place to escape to for peak fall foliage and autumn pleasures. Tucked at the end of Main Street, visitors flock to the Sugar Hollow Candle Shop. The shop is known to offer serenity and peace in its unique candles. Molly, the shop owner, is the sixth generation candle maker and healer. Her family long believed in the simplicity of healing and soothing with memory conjuring smells. While science would prove that smells bypass the thalamus and venture straight into the olfactory hub of the brain, Molly's grandmother encouraged her to focus on the artistic craft of candle making. She encouraged Molly to embrace family traits of empathy and pure instinct. Her ability to listen intently to all those who came to the shop for customized fragrances and her sixth sense made her candle so special. You walk past the cozy hollow cafe where people huddle inside and sip decadent hot beverages with dollops of whipped cream. They dress in knit sweaters and flannel jackets and the scene through the store window is worthy enough to be on a postcard. You inhale the smell of wood smoke that travels through the silver chimneys atop the row houses of Main Street. The smoky aroma blends with the smell of baked goods and pastries that wafts out of the cafe. The rose gold sun begins to dip beyond the mountains that surround the village in a protective embrace. The vibrant fall leaves dapple purple mountain peaks and sparkle in the last rays of sunlight. The daylight hours have begun to shorten and it makes you feel sleepier earlier each night as darkness creeps in. You arrive at the Sugar Hollow Candle Shop and peer into the bow windows of the storefront. The interior of the shop makes you feel as if you have traveled back in time. A 
the candelabra hangs in the center of the window, and an array of long tapered candles represent the best of all colors. Slender flames flicker and reflect on the glass. Pumpkins and lush arrangements of dried eucalyptus, sunflowers, and burgundy mums sit in the storefront window. You walk towards the historic entryway of the brick building. The door is a soothing shade of lavender. You press your thumb on the cool latch of an antique brass door handle, and the door softly squeaks open. You welcome the rush of warm air fragranced sweetly by the smells of diverse candles coming together in a soothing elixir. Soft piano music plays in the background. Molly stands behind an antique register and reads a book about crystals. The cash register sits on a glass display case full of gemstones and dried flowers and herbs. Rose quartz, citrine, turquoise, amethyst, and tiger's eye rest on lush black velvet lining on the shelves. Behind the display is a large open area where Molly makes the candles. Shelves run from the high ceiling to the floor, stocked with small tinctures and scents in glass bottles labeled in a delicate handwritten scroll. The store is like an apothecary and candle shop in one. Molly looks at you with hazel eyes that sparkle with flecks of yellow topaz. She wears a long chiffon dress with a paisley pattern in shades of brown, purple, burgundy, and gold. Molly welcomes you and invites you to look around the store. Next to the cash register, you notice a jar candle burning, and it has a gemstone in the bottom of layers of rainbow-hued wax. The handmade label reads, Molly's Healing Candle in Calligraphy. You mention you have come to the store with the hopes of having a custom candle made. Molly's face lights up, and she warmly smiles at you as if you have made her day. She invites you to explore the fragrances to get a sense of what you would like to experience and what you enjoy. Some candles smell like seascapes and forests. Some are richly fragranced with fruit and the aroma of creme brulee and baked desserts. As you smell your way through the store, memories awaken. A candle smells like your favorite dessert and conjures a holiday memory. Celebrations and landscapes, trips and monumental moments are aroused by the simple act of bringing one of the candles to your nose, closing your eyes, and taking in a deep breath. As your thoughts skate across memory ponds with the grace of an Olympian figure skater, you feel warmed by love and appreciation. Being in this shop has sent you deep into a pool of reflection. You dive into the sacred memories of your life that have been long forgotten. You relish the first moments that come together. The memories of you prevailing, of trying something new, and feeling whole and alive. As you explore the diverse array of candles, with rich colors and even richer aromas, you find you are speaking freely, as if Molly is your longest friend. She nods and smiles and takes notes on a piece of stationery. She barely speaks and lets you continue, all the while getting a sense of what will make you happiest. Like a curious child, you grasp your hands around two long tapered candles that hang in clusters of other candles in berry hues. The 
cool, smooth mulberry wax rests in the palms of your hands, and this tactile sensation instantly soothes you. A shared wick holds the candle pairs together and allows them to hang. They hang still, like barren branches of trees in winter. When you have told Molly about the things you most enjoy and memories you hold dear, she pauses and quietly takes it all in. She then asks what it is you most want for yourself now and in the future. You answer her and she leads you to the display of gemstones and crystals and tells you about the powers and symbolism of each one. The rose quartz is for love, self-love, and a love for others. The purple amethyst has a high vibration and assists with making wise decisions and awakens your higher consciousness. Clear quartz may help with manifestation and setting your intention. Moonstone evokes dreams. Citrine brings abundance and prosperity and black obsidian helps with protection and positivity. Your thoughts drift away. Do you focus on how these ideas and crystals make you feel? You find the one that feels right, and you silence your critical mind. You imagine what it would be like if it were so easy to place an order for what you desire. You realize it is easier to place this order now that you have been given the special time in the shop to ask yourself these questions about what sparks joy and what you long for. With Molly's guidance, you select a crystal. She places it in the bottom of a large glass jar and goes to a cast iron pot full of melting candle wax. Her moves are graceful and seem choreographed to the melodic notes of the piano music that plays on. She melts different colors of wax and layers them with dried flowers and herbs. She grabs different tinctures and oils and crafts a candle before your eyes. You are caught up in her process and your mind sails to different thoughts and feelings, completely unaware of how much time has passed. It is now dark outside the windows, and the glow in the shop feels all the cozier. Shadows dance on the walls from the flickering candles. Molly finishes your healing masterpiece. She has artfully layered wax in your most favorite colors like thin cookie wafers and icing. She writes your name and the words healing candle on the label and her elegant penmanship. She rings you up on the old cash register that was used by her great great grandmother. Her slender fingers enter the total. You pass over a few weathered bills and this exchange of cash also evokes memories of an earlier time. Molly opens the register, and a bell dings when she closes it. She wraps the candle in tissue paper and places it in a brown paper bag with a store's name on the front. She takes a pack of matches and drops them into the bag as well. She then takes a business card and places it in the bag and encourages you to return the candle if you aren't satisfied in any way, you look into her kind eyes and deeply feel within your belly that you will have the most wonderful experience with her creation. It's a deep yet simple knowing. Molly walks with you towards the exit and closes the door behind you as she says goodnight. She flips over the open sign to now read closed. The street is quiet and a soft fog has moved in. The air has a bit of a nip 
and makes you long for the return to your cozy cottage. Leaves blow down the street and rustle. You walk down a narrow lane that leads to historic cottages painted in pastel hues. You walk by a stone cottage covered in ivy. The vines are peppered with colorful leaves that have been caught in their waxy green webs. You arrive at your cottage, which is designed exactly to your preferences. You walk up the leaf-covered steps and onto a porch that wraps around the front of the cozy home and is decorated with pumpkins and gourds. A silver-gray fog wraps around your property. A small stream runs behind your house and you can hear it babbling. You open the front door of your cottage and your beloved cat comes running. He rubs up against your legs, purring and welcoming you home. You take the candle and walk up the stairs to the second floor of your cottage. Your hand runs across the smooth mahogany banister to the landing. Your cat follows behind and his paws patter up the wooden steps. You come to the landing and walk to the bathroom. A clawfoot bathtub is placed in a nook surrounded by multi-paned picture windows in black frames. You look out into the babbling ebony stream that runs along the perimeter of your backyard. Fiery orange and deep red leaves float on the rippling water. Again, you see the contrast. You draw a bath and watch the water rush out of the antique faucet. Your cat nestles on a plush bath mat. You take out the candle and set it on a wicker side table by the tub. You remove the glass lid and place it on the table as well. You then take the box of wooden matches from the paper bag and strike one to light the wick. You discover the business card and pick it up to read the shiny gold lettering. It says, there are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. The words of Edith Warden. The candlelight reflects on the water of the tub as it fills. You turn down the pressure of the water so it slowly trickles into the bath water with a soothing sound. You remove your clothes and step into the steamy bath. The wind whispers around the house, and an occasional leaf is caught up in a gust and graces the windows with a soft brush. You relish the cozy nook of your bathroom, and gratitude warms you on the inside while the water comforts you on the outside. Your toe rests on the faucet and you close your eyes. The smells of the candle begin to fill the air and you are led on a journey through time. You float in the water and relive the moments of summer. You travel to memories deep within going back years past when you were an imaginative child. Long before you were ever molded by expectations and you were free to explore and learn and experience the world for the first time. The next fragrant note reminds you of love a love for animals or people, a romantic love or a love for family and friends, a love for those who have taught you. The comforting smell takes you deep into these places of hope and joy. You have had many in your life. The clouds of worry may have gotten in the way at times, but they float away now 
to reconnect with happiness, with joyous moments playing out and soothing you. You are brought to sensations of pleasure, feeling satiated and warm, feeling safe, feeling connected with all you desire. The candles, just as these memories, remind you of what you desire more of. They activate parts of your mind as you float in the deep bathtub and go deep inside of yourself. Like a waking dream, you are surrounded by memory bubbles activated by each new smell. Your favorite smells waft through the room. You are relaxed from head to toe. Your muscles become as soft as the melting candle wax. Free of expectations. Free from the weight of the world. Free from worry. Free from the need to control. You surrender. You connect with the idea of transition, flowing from one pleasant feeling to the next as you ride on the fragrance of this healing candle. Your attention slowly comes back to the intimate setting of your candlelit bathroom. You look at the amber flame and it reminds you of the light within you. It continues to burn with each breath and beat of your heart. Even when you ignore it, it remains faithful and strong. It gives you more than life. It gives you purpose. You pull the drain out of the tub and listen to the gurgle as the water empties. Your cat stands in the doorway imploring you to come to bed with a soft gaze. You slowly rise out of the bathtub and step on the doormat. It remains warm from the body heat of your cat. You wrap yourself in a plush towel and dry off. The candle aroma is now soporific, with notes of lavender and chamomile. The aromas have beautifully blended like the players in an orchestra, enhancing the experience with a multitude of layers. You remove your pajamas from a hanger placed on a brass door hook. You slip into the soft, freshly laundered bedclothes and feel ready for sleep. You pick up the candle and follow your cat to the bedroom guided by candlelight. The flame flickers. Shadows dance on the wood floors of the hallway. You walk into your bedroom and step on a plush area rug. It cushions each step as you walk towards your bed. You set the candle on the bedstand and your cat leaps onto the bottom of the mattress. You peel back the cotton duvet and climb beneath the crisp, cool sheets. You lean over and blow out the candle. As a thin line of smoke trails towards the ceiling in a squiggling line, you give thanks for this magical day and you hold hope for all the beautiful dreams to come. You sink your tired head and neck into the plush pillows and your cat nestles alongside you. His soft purrs soothe the both of you. You close your eyes and drift on the soothing feeling brought on by this day. You may ride the soothing feeling to succumb to sleep or you may enjoy another cottage adventure.
cabin in the snow. There are walks you may take in this life that feel like a dream. Deep in the forest on a snowy day, you lift each foot slowly to feel the sole of your boot crunch on the sparkling opal blanket of snow when it lands. A coating of ice creates a thin glaze atop the snow crystals. You feel resistance with each step as your boot breaks through to grace the powdery dusting below. But when your feet hover above the untouched snow, you feel as if you are floating through space as the wind causes your scarf and heavy parka to billow. The sun has yet to set. Radiant golden sunbeams pierce through heavy gray clouds and offer warmth. The light reflects off the snow, illuminating the shadows of the woods. The air smells of snow. Clean and metallic, it purifies your lungs with each slow inhalation. Your breath condenses in the air. In the afternoon light, each iridescent snowflake and ice crystal sparkle. You close your eyes and inhale. As you focus on sensations in your body, you feel the contrast between the nippy air and the golden light that pours over you. And like the glittery snow, you feel every cell of your body tingle and sparkle in this moment of quietude. You feel alive all over, stimulated by the magic of this moment. You savor the limited time you have with the sun, as its appearances are brief during this time of year. When the longest nightfall is soon upon you. You know another big snowstorm is coming. You heard it from the people in town this morning. Everyone was excitedly gathering supplies and getting prepared for the first big storm of the season. And you as well have prepared and feel safe knowing you will weather the storm just fine. You have been waiting for this moment of solitude in the woods, in your safe little cabin. It feels so good to unplug from the noise and the frenetic pace of the modern world. For some time you have yearned for this place for repose, knowing how much you deserve respite and serenity. You make a path through the trees, leaving prints in your wake that remind you of how thrilling it was as a child to encounter tracks left behind from humans and animals. You revel in the warmth and protection you feel when bundled in your puffy coat and velvety scarf. In the shadows of barren white birch trees, the biting cold on your face 
feels invigorating and refreshing. Winter has a magical way of demanding you stay present and aware of each sensation. The heavy rubber soles of your boots help you balance over a frozen puddle that holds vibrant autumn leaves in captivity like a museum display. You walk towards a frozen stream as a pair of rabbits race ahead of you, hurrying to their shelter from the storm. A current in the stream prevents the dark blue water from freezing completely. Jagged chunks of ice break free like miniature silvery glaciers that glide through the woods on the babbling water. A fawn gently laps a drink of water from the crystal stream with a raspberry pink tongue that slips slowly in and out, savoring each droplet. Your eyes meet with a silent understanding of what is to come. Every being in the woods can sense a snowstorm on the way. From the smell in the air, the clouds, the humidity, the change in the wind's direction indicates what is to come. As you look at the fawn's thick brown lashes and into her coal-like eyes, you feel the peace that comes with this shared experience, with the beautiful animals that occupy the same forest where your cabin awaits. And as the wind picks up and the sun begins its descent below the horizon, you enjoy the last light of dusk on this walk, knowing this will be the last you venture outdoors before the storm and night take hold. You approach a winding malt path dappled in snow that leads to a clearing where your cabin sits. You take a trip to the woodshed where you have carefully piled enough logs to get you through the winter. It feels good to be so prepared. The sky darkens by the minute. Save for the howling wind and crunching sound of snow beneath your feet. The clearing is profoundly quiet. Thick, dreamy, silver and gray clouds roll in with more urgency and speed than the afternoon puffs that hung in the sky. You grab four logs from the woodshed and hug them against your chest. The logs are solid. They are strong, and it takes strength to carry them. As you do, you recognize times in your life. You have exercised these qualities of being strong and sturdy 
when called upon. You continue to walk through the snow as wet snowflakes melt on your cheeks and nose, which are now rosy and numb. The logs are heavy, but dry. Trekking towards the cabin with them gives you a sense of purpose as these efforts connect you to your survival. And as you approach the log home, wood smoke aromatizes the air. A charcoal plume of smoke escapes the chimney, cast like a shadowy figure, squiggling against the elephant gray sky. Amber light glows from the windows, emanating from the roaring fire in the fireplace. The wind whistles around the cabin, and the snow falls in a heavy sheet of white. The storm amplifies your gratitude for this cozy cabin that will shield you from the bitter cold of the night. Your heart warms at the thought and your lips form a smile as a snowflake melts on them. You climb up the wooden stairs carefully, taking one step at a time until you reach the porch. The snow starts to drift a few inches on the stairs against the door, courtesy of the wind that is picking up in intensity. You stand on a doormat that reads, This must be the place. You shuffle your boots against the mat to shake off any excess snow and balance the cut logs on your hips as you turn the rustic doorknob on the hand-carved wooden door. As it opens, a wave of air instantly rushes out the door and cloaks you in warmth and an aromatic mixture of pine, cinnamon, and burning wood. The dry air beckons to you as if hooking welcoming fingers around your body until you step within, completely enveloping you in comfort. You close the door and set the logs in a bin in the foyer. The cabin is charming yet expansive, with tiered ceilings and exposed beams that run from one corner of the lofty space to the other. Rustic lanterns hang from the weathered beams and contain tea light candles that flicker and create waves of golden light and dark shadows 
on the shiny, copper-hued log walls. You remove your boots and then your damp hat, scarf, gloves, and coat. You rub your hands together. Your fingers are cold to the touch, but become prickly and warm as feeling returns to them. Your face entertains a soft, burning sensation that makes you appreciate the warmth. Feeling quite tired and heavy, you carry two of the logs to the fire and add them. You then walk to an armoire in the main room where a robe and slippers are waiting. As you change into them, the plush and fuzzy fabric nuzzles against your skin. The wind howls in the night as it thrashes around the cabin. The heavy snow creates whiteout conditions and taps against the roof and windows. Through the open curtains, you can see specks of white fly at the windows, contrasting the otherwise dark exterior. The snowflakes glow in the light that emanates from the cabin. Everything about your cabin is inviting and comfortable, as though its sole purpose is to create a warm and kind environment for relaxation. An oversized chair sits before the fire, decorated in a fabric and pattern that most soothes you. The chair is large and overstuffed, and two of you could easily fit in it. You sink into its downy cushions. The chair welcomes you like a warm hug at the end of the day. You cover yourself in a crocheted blanket that drapes over the chair back and nestle between throw pillows. The flames dance closely in the fireplace, close enough to warm you exactly the way you need, with their glowing, enchanting, and hypnotic motions. Atop an antique side table is an oversized mug that fills both of your palms when you pick it up. It contains your favorite winter beverage, perhaps a hot mulled cider, tea and honey, a hot toddy, or hot cocoa with whipped cream. This preferred soothing tonic has been warmed just for you. You take a sip and feel the liquid cascade down your throat, warming you from the inside out. 
you listen to the rhythmic crackling and popping of the fire. The somnolent sounds make you think each ember's song is there to usher you into deeper relaxation. You feel heavy and content, sinking deeper into the comforts of the chair and moment. And maybe there is a sleepy pet who comes out of hiding and comes to your feet. A kitten or a dog. If you have a pet or would like to, who soaks in the fire's warmth with you and presses their loving body against your legs. And the night plays out like a fairy tale you once heard as a small child. Spectacular and comforting and timeless. For the second time on this magical night, the splendor of the moment resonates deeply with dreams you have had before. You sip your steamy drink like a sleep potion, it makes you more tired and relaxed. Your eyelids become heavy. Your limbs and body as heavy as logs in the woodshed. And in this sacred moment, you revel in the beauty of the room through your heavy, sleepy eyes. You appreciate the colors and interior design of the cabin, chosen completely by you. Every detail counts. Selected with care and for the sake of making you feel most at home. Tall candles burn in glass enclosures and elegant candelabras that decorate the mantle. A bough of evergreen branches hangs across the mantle just above the fire and perfumes the room. An eclectic array of picture frames collected over time showcase photos of you. Every photograph represents a time in your life when you felt vivacious and content, when you were embarking on a new adventure or accomplishing a great feat. These images capture moments with those who love you and who you love best. They are a representation of every moment in your life that has made you proud to be you.
floating in the tranquility of this moment. You close your eyes. The heaviness of your lids wins over any desire to stay awake. You find yourself drifting and drifting like the mounds of snow piling against the sturdy walls of the log cabin. You surrender, floating between worlds, between the soft, comforting room of the cabin to the sleepscape that beckons to you, luring you towards pleasant dreams. Your closed eyes help you focus on and navigate through your interior world. You are flooded with joyous memories that come to you without effort. You see yourself at the top of a very steep hill, sitting in a sled. This glimpse represents a time when you had little or no concerns or stressors in your life. You lived in the moment. You connected with simple pleasures. As you inhale, you push off and begin your descent. You exhale in a laugh that becomes a sigh echoing off the snowy hills as you slide down. You reach your arms out, grasping for the sky as you take flight and glide over the snow. You feel so free. Your hands wrap around the sides of the sled and you navigate your destiny. You soar through the wintry landscape with a magnificent feeling that anything is possible because it is. In this moment, anything you wish to experience in your dreamscape can happen through your design right now. And outside, the snow continues to fall, covering your cabin in a thick white blanket. Inside, you feel safe and warm and at peace. It is easy to weather a storm when life affords you such comfort and shelter. You feel grateful and at ease and know that every storm in life and every event as well may be experienced through a positive or negative lens. But you may find the greatest 
peace. When you look at the upside and count all the things that make you grateful. Cozy, restful moments arise from storms and we harvest each precious detail as a reaction to what brings discomfort. And this is why you find yourself nestled by a fire and cultivating a moment where everything around you offers comfort, happy and warm, as the candles around the room continue to flicker and the fire engulfs the logs you once gathered outside. You feel a warm glow emanating from within you. It pours loving energy from your heart center. Feeling warms your torso and organs as you inhale and exhale. Serene and grateful, plugged into the moment. Every muscle in your body feels tired from being used to its greatest capacity today. But now each muscle may rest and you may rest. Breathing in and breathing out. Your breath ebbs and flows as you drift farther and farther away into a dreamy world. Shadows dance around you as the flames die down and the logs become hot, glowing embers. In the beautiful, serene cabin you drift back and forth. You hover over the bridge to your sleeping life until you are ready to fully let go. Drifting closer to sleep as you inhale and exhale. Finding surrender. If anyone were to witness this moment, or you were to rise above and peer into the scene from the outside looking in, you would see the soft and sleeping face of a person who is so very happy and relaxed, safely snuggled in an ideal place for respite. And as sleep arrives, it welcomes you with dreams of a wintry adventure. You may imagine a beautiful white coating of fresh snow that will be there come morning to offer a fresh start and a new beginning. The snow is a clean slate 
where you may leave your footprints, where you may leave your mark. The snow makes every aspect of right now easy as you drift with the carefree pace of a snowflake as it surrenders to the wind, as it floats towards the earth, giving in to gravity. The night offers the time for recovery and repose so your cells may heal and repair themselves so they will be strong at the dawning of a new day. But for now, you let go, drifting down Necessary thoughts drift away with the howling wind into the night, traveling to places things go that are no longer needed. For now, no thoughts are needed, only peace quiet, bliss, and love exist in the cabin in the snow. As you let go and feel the safest you have felt in quite some time. I am going to count you down to this place of restorative and beautiful dream-filled sleep. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Finding peace, finding 